So check this out. So this is a DC2. I wanted to do clear windows. Look at that. Smooth, clear. You can hardly see that they're there. That's this clear resin, this uh, gym tech, I think. I'm not doing an interior, so I made a well there and just poured it in there. Now, I did this for a future project because it takes a while to set up. It can be sanded. I've done some tests and it can be sanded and it can be polished. And that's important to me because I'm going to have to come back and fix this other one here. Because as I poured this one, I thought, well, I should cover it. Something might fall into it. And sure enough, a moth right there on the window. So this one leaked as well. My uh, little dam leaked a bit, so I'm going to have to pour another layer on there because if you don't have a good layer, you can see there in that window, the reflection on the back end gives you some uh, aberration, some optical aberration, while over here on this side, it's nice and smooth. So you can see the difference in the reflection in the window. Uh, you get nice, clear, straight lines in there, but over here, if you have a bad pour, you get these concave lines, and that's not quite what I'm after. But I'll uh, scrape that dude out of there and polish up that window and do my second pour there to fill in this side. And then when I'm uh, close to painting, I'll come back and polish that out real good to get some of those, uh, those imperfections out. And the way I do this is I use cap-on tape and I just lay it on there uh, across, sticky side down. And that cap-on tape, ha tape has a stickiness that's uh, real smooth, glass smooth as you can see. This is the second aircraft I've done this way, and if you've got a flat surface, oh man, this is the way to go. Alright, well there's that.